Uh, g'day playmates and uh, welcome to another Harmer vid. Uh, this time uh, I'm going to be doing naval action um, and uh, this is a game uh, I bought for around about $20 uh, last December when it was on sale on Steam. Um, I think it currently retails I think around about 50 odd Australian dollars. Um, I certainly wouldn't pay that amount for it, but uh, 20 bucks, yeah, I've got my money's worth. Uh, as you can see, there are two servers. Uh, there's a PvP server. Um, I've never played on the PvP server. Yeah, I think generally uh, you've got to be in a clan uh, to make uh, this server work. Uh, it's a pretty dangerous server to, uh, to run on. Um, we're going to go uh, onto the PVE server, which is where uh, I've been doing all my um, all my playing. Uh, you can see that the uh, it's working. Population is low, um, at 350 ping. Um, the servers, I think, are somewhere in Germany. I'm not sure, but anyway, we're going to be joining the uh, the peaceful server. Uh, so uh, logging in. Alrighty, and uh, uh, I'm working as a British player uh, in the uh, in the Caribbean, uh, set round about the turn of the 19th century. Uh, and this game is pretty much, if you've played Eve Online, uh, it's a little bit like Eve Online, except obviously uh, it's set in the Age of Sail. Uh, in the Caribbean, uh, so I'm going to start up. And loading in, and uh, we're going to soon be entering the uh, open world. Yep, open world. Basically with the open world, you don't interface with anybody. Uh, or apart from you can trade with other people, import. Uh, so on and so forth uh, and um, uh, I should be near Port Morant which is over there um, let's just go to the map and uh, you can see my ship this is my base, uh, Kingston Port Royal, and uh, without uh, uh, too much uh, explanation, basically, I've got some cargo that's going to be heading up the Winwood Channel to Mortimer Town, uh, Islet, coming back down uh, to Lays Cays. Uh, here, uh, there's a. Uh, uh, a solo PvP battle. Uh, look, I can't tell you much about that because uh, I don't do any combat. Uh, you may ask the reason why. The reason is uh, I'm pretty crap at combat. Uh, it's a bit of a strain. I'd rather just work as a trader and make money that way. Uh, so um, here um, is uh, basically the uh, different countries that are uh, involved in the um, in the map and as you can see it's a big map it actually extends right up to here to St. George's Town in the Atlantic uh, through the Gulf of Mexico through the Caymans into the Caribbean Sea uh, nothing in the Pacific Ocean but uh, yeah, yeah you can see it's a big map uh, so there's lots of places to visit uh, Worth noting is La Navas. Uh, that's a good place. I've actually got a base there. It's a good place to buy ships quite cheaply and uh, a good trading trading base. But anyway, I picked picked up some trade here and some missions. Uh, so uh, we can uh, let's go back. Let's set some sail up and get cracking. Uh, this is my trader's brig. Uh, I've actually got three of these. I'm actually fleeted up 
which I'll show you in a second. Just get some full sail up, get underway. Got to round out this headland. Um, okay, I can actually click and uh, see what's uh, around me. Did I see a ship over here? No, I didn't. Yeah, normally there'd be a fair bit of shipping going into Port Royal, but anyway. There's Port Moran. It's a deep water harbour, so any ship can get in there, whereas a shallow water harbour, uh, you can only get uh, small ships. Uh, I don't even think you can get a frigate uh, into a shallow port. Uh, there's a frigate. That school means that it's uh, it's got a lot of expertise, uh, so that would be harder to attack. But it's a friendly NPC, so I can't attack it. Uh, all right, let's turn to port. Uh, obviously, uh, this is not uh, being run in real time. Uh, it's being run in uh, condensed time. Uh, you can see I'm doing some fishing at the moment. Uh, so um, I'll go through this in a sec, um, but I've pulled a couple of salt, uh, a jack, and five needlefish. Uh, these are basically free bits, so it's always a good idea to keep a bit of cargo space open, uh, because the other thing you can also catch is a ship's bottle, and. <laughs> Uh, I must admit, uh, having played uh, since last December, I've never ever caught one. Uh, so, uh, that basically, the ship's bottle, when you uncork it, it gives you cool freebie stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look on the map. And I'm going to show the protractor. Uh, I'm going to be setting a course up here, so I'm going to double click on there, on my ship. I'm going to set a course up here. Uh, that'll do me. And let's now turn to that course. Okay, so I'm now on course for the uh, for my destination. Uh, all right, so let's have a look into my journal, uh, and I have got which uh, picked up these three missions uh, in Port Royal. Um, I've got a cargo delivery uh, weighing 800 tons. Um, my reward is going to be. S uh, Seventy-five and a half thousand reales. Reales is the basic currency of the game, uh, which you use for trading. Um, uh, also, I get a bonus of a thousand doubloons. Doubloons is the secondary uh, currency, and you basically get doubloons from. Um, from missions and from com combat, essentially. Uh, I've also got another cargo delivery at Islet. I was lucky enough to pick up uh, these, both of these at uh, Port Royal. Uh, and as you can see, when I show the map, uh, they're quite close to each other. They're um, uh, they're pirate towns, but um, I'm allowed to sail in them because I've got a trading ship. I wouldn't be allowed to sail into them if I actually had a warship. Um, and you can see that I last visited uh, Islet. It's a shallow water port, so I can, you can only get a, a shallow draft ship into it. Uh, I visited that on the 24th of the 6th, 2019. Uh, Similarly, uh, I did the same with uh, Mortimer Town. Um, alrighty, so let's go back. Uh, go back to my missions. Uh, I've also got a passenger delivery. 
uh, at Mortimer Town as well. And I'm going to get uh, 33,000 for that. And um, 1,000 doubloons. So uh, the good thing about missions is that you uh, uh, the game doesn't tax you on missions. Normally you have to pay up to 20% tax, which is a 10% purchase tax and a 10% sales tax. Uh, so with these you're actually dodging tax, you're not paying any tax. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually going to get, uh, so what have we got here, let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to get uh, 75, 646, plus 120, 221, plus 33, 261. Uh, I'm going to get pushing 230,000 reales plus uh, 20,000 doubloons uh, for doing these three deliveries. So, um, yeah. They're definitely well worth doing. Um, uh, all this stuff down here, this is all the chat. Uh, if you need any help, uh, the um, uh, the community is very good at uh, giving you help. Uh, here, this is just my nation chat, so only the British players can see this, and then this is this is global. Okay, so I won't go any f anything into any further. This is fishing. Um, you can start or stop fishing. Um, it tells you here. You can also catch seal bottles leading to treasure. Uh, if you overfish or you have too much weight, it will affect your speed. Uh, you can't catch anything in your capital waters. Um, fishing will automatically stop if your ship does not have free slots in the hold. Uh, that's the tavern, which is chat. Uh, the map we've already done. Okay, here is my fleet. Uh, I've got a trader's brig. The hold is 91% full. Uh, and that's the hold uh, in the ship that I'm actually captain. Uh, also in the fleet, I've got another trader's brig, uh, which is fully crewed. And in that, uh, I've got rice. And then in my third ship, which is here, uh, I've also got uh, 1,700 uh, uh, 1, tons worth of rice. Uh, my fourth slot is locked. Um, I've got to get a fleet perk to do that, so um, yeah. Um, my money chest is carried in the ship. Um, I haven't got any doubloons in my money chest because it'll only uh, hold 10,000. So I actually offloaded 9,000 doubloons into my um, uh, into my warehouse at Port Royal. Um, upgrades got nothing in upgrades. put that away uh, so as you can see I've got uh, one and a half million reales I've got a way to go to my next rank which is Commodore from flag captain uh, I've got 180 crew uh, on ships at the moment I can actually have up to 500 um, so yeah that's my fleet um, so Basically, rice is what I bought in Port Royal. I had to pay 10% tax to buy this. Uh, so I'm hoping uh, to make a profit on my rice. Um, let's just go to the map. Uh, Trader tool, I'm gonna rice. Uh, which I bought bought rice in Kingston Port Royal and I bought it for 915 and 
I'm hoping to sell this in Islet for 1414. Okay, so I should make a profit of around about 400 reales uh, on on my rice. Um, and the other thing I will show you. Whoops. just extend this to Islet. Let's put the protractor on here. Yeah, okay, and I'll just check my course. Yeah, I just, uh, just need to go a little bit to uh, port. The red arrow is my course. A little bit more. Okay. And, uh, okay, the next thing I need to show you is my cash book. Uh, for uh, uh, you guys who, like me, are anal and like to know how much profit you're making, uh, this is nothing to do with naval action. Uh, this is just a free-to-download uh, cash book um, app, program, whatever and you can see that i've been operating this is the back end of december uh, going through this uh, there was a february game wipe uh, during early access uh, which left me with that amount uh, however the main thing that I need to, uh, was the June game wipe. So the game came out of early access in June. Uh, at that time, I had uh, over 1.5 million uh, reales. Uh, it wiped it to zero. However, the cool thing was that I was actually allowed to keep my rank and also my skill books, uh, which uh, was a big help because it wasn't too long before I bought a trader's brig for 55,000 and then started doing some serious training um, and then uh, a few days ago um, I, I bought another two traders brigs uh, one for 22,000 and one for 19,800 uh, which increased my trading capacity um, so here what actually happened with was uh, let me just put uh, bought this at, uh, at uh, Kingston, which is also known as Port Royal. Um, so I bought uh, I bought thirty seven. Uh, 3,700 tons worth of rice, so uh, that cost me 37,240. If I divide that by 37, um, yeah, it cost me just over a thousand, a uh, thousand reales. Yeah, uh, 1,006 reales. Um, go back to naval action. Let's go back to the map. Let's go back to the trader tool rise. Uh, okay, I'm hoping to sell for 1414. So 1414 times 37. Uh, is going to be 52,000. It's going to net me 52,000 minus 10% sales tax times 10% minus equals. So, uh, yeah, um, let's just go back to. Um, well, yep, yeah, so purchase for 37,000. Uh, we're going to sell for 47,000. So we'll make 10,000. 
on top of uh, all the other stuff. So, um, so, so it's gonna all up gonna net me. Uh, so I'm gonna make a profit of ten thousand. Plus seventy-five thousand, plus one hundred and twenty thousand, plus thirty-three thousand. Yeah, so um, um, yeah, so all up, I'm gonna net um, round about two hundred and thirty-eight thousand uh, for this trip. Uh, okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm going to leave it at that, uh, and then I'm going to uh, re-record uh, the video once I uh, get towards uh, Islet. Uh, so uh, I'll catch you later.